students welcome back to the series and in this series we were discussing about the neat 2022 question paper and this series is not helpful only for the students who are checking their answer it's also helpful for the students who are trying for the next year examination so in this you can clear your concepts and know how to solve the simple questions so let's see the question number 67 of the chemistry portion that is the 17th question for the chemistry and in this case what the question said that the question is giving you the statement that is first is assertion and second is reason so in the assertion and reasoning type questions we have to see whether the both statements are true and if they are true then second should be the proper reason of the first one now in the first statement what they have said they have said iodine chloride is more reactive than iodine so if they are comparing the interhalogen compound with the normal iodine or halogen compound when you see the interhalogen compound they are more reactive than normal halogen except for fluorine so if you have any bond like this x and x dash it is more reactive more reactive than then x and x bond except fluorine except fluorine fluorine is very reactive in nature so next what they are saying the reason which they are giving is the interhalogen bond is weaker than iodine bond absolutely correct this bond is actually weak bond that's why it is easily to break and when it is easy to break in that case what happens it easy to break so it can require a very less amount of energy and it can easily react uh, in the formation of any compounds and in the case of halogen normal halogen compounds the bonds are slightly stronger slightly stronger therefore they are uh, taking more energy to break down and therefore they are com in comparison to interhalogen they are more reactive so technically we can say the interhalogens the interhalogens are more reactive than normal halogen compounds so in this case the first statement is true while the second statement is also true and absolutely the correct reason for the first one so in this case what will be the answer the answer will be the b option that a and r are correct statement and r is the correct explanation for the a i hope you able to understand this concept and thank you for watching the video till end